Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules and Saad and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be trying and tasting the healthiest options at fast food restaurants. I'm really excited for this one. I'm very curious. I'm very curious to <laughs> see what the healthiest options are at every place. Um, and tell you guys if they're good or not. Basically, what do you think is gonna have the healthiest? Um, I think. And well, what? And what, off, what classifies healthiest? For me, I was gonna look at lowest calories. Okay. Okay, let's do that then. Because I feel like that automatically is going to be the healthiest. Right. I could be wrong. We are not nutritionists. Okay. Um, for I know, like at Starbucks, I get the egg white bites. I know those are only 170 calories, okay. but there could be something healthier that I don't know about. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna find out. Is that the first place? I want to know. Yeah, we're gonna go to Starbucks. We're gonna go to Dunkin'. We're gonna go to Panera. Cause I also want to get like healthy drinks. Like I want to show you guys healthy drinks. And since it's fall time, mm. I want to try to find the healthiest fall drink or like an alternative to make it um, like a like healthier a little... option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So hopefully um, this video is insightful and fun. And I'm also just really freaking hungry. I haven't ate today. I got Botox for the first time this morning. Yeah. I almost fainted. Yeah. And I need sugar and I need food. If you want to know more about Julia getting Botox, you can follow us on Snapchat. Well, add us on Snapchat add in us reality. On Snapchat. Uh, Julia just hit 500K and I'm about to hit 500K. I'm doing a gift card giveaway at 500K. Once I hit it on there, I'm going to be posting um, a bunch of gift cards and stuff on my Snapchat. So you have to be subscribed to me and also just subscribe to Jules because you hit 500K too. So congrats, baby. Thank you. Um, with all of that being said, let's go to the drive through. Really quick, actually, before we go to Starbucks, we got a new bed. Well, we got a new mattress, okay? Mm, yeah. And it has been amazing. Literally the best bed, okay? So we have to tell you a little bit about it really quick. Go ahead. So we just got a brand new mattress from Sweet Night. And let me just tell you, we obviously jumped the gun. <laughs> we already ripped it out of the packaging and everything. We're acting brand new already. <laughs> We're acting brand new. But I'll show you some footage of us opening it. It was so simple and I'm still mind blown by how fast this mattress inflated. So cool, like literally before our eyes, basically. Insert footage here. A new mattress, puppies, wow! A new bed. We're gonna have a new bed to sleep on. They're just happy about the packaging. They're like, yes, yes, give us the plastic. Ooh, I love the checkerboard style. I've never seen anything like this before. Cute, she's cute. Rip me out the plastic, I'd be acting brand So they actually give an instruction book, and they also Ooh, and give poppers. this to just cut it open. Oh, that's convenient. As well. So it's very nice. Love that. Ooh. Hey! It looks, Pi's testing it out first. We haven't even opened it, Bubba. He's trying to help. He's, he is Stop trying it. to help. I want to see it like inflate. Oh, I hear it. I hear it inflating. <gasps> oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see. It's literally rising. Both of these dogs are so curious about what's going on. I'm going to lay. You ready? Okay. Three, two, ah! one. That's nice. Is it comfy? Yeah. Dude, look at how much it already inflated. That inflated really fast. That's what I'm saying here. Here. Oh! That's what I'm saying. Uh -oh. oh my god, this is soft. I think it's piggy approved. It's piggy approved. It's piggy. Yeah. Yeah. It's she piggy oh, look at how he's laying. I love it. Nice. Sleep tight with sweet night. That's honestly. If that's not their logo, it should be. I'm gonna make it their logo. Okay, but anyway, we're about to put it on our bed, but first off, I wanted to tell you guys some of the amazing things about this Sweet Night mattress. And let me just tell you, already, <sighs> the way these dogs, Piggo's falling asleep. He's laying out. Pie is He's, stretched out. He's relaxing. Out. I don't know if you guys can see. He is like more relaxed than ever before. I can already tell we're about to sleep so good on this mattress. And for those of you guys that don't know, Saad had Lyme disease. So he really struggles with waking up stiff in the morning and he has been begging me for a new mattress forever. I have. And I've been so stubborn because I'm like, no, our mattress is fine. Like we I also like have our a mattress. Topper, but the texture and just feeling this 
I don't think we're gonna need a foam topper after sleeping on this. So when Sweet Night reached out to collaborate with us, I was just excited for the mattress. I was, I was excited. excited for the mattress too, but this man was like, finally, we get a new mattress. Yep. Thank you so much, Sweet Night, for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this mattress. Okay, so one of the great things about Sweet Night mattresses is they have four firmness profiles through contouring curve design. They have variable sinking range for different sleep positions, gel infused comfort level mm. for better sleep, a nice cool sleep. We all love the cool side of the we, pillow. Yeah, now you keep a cool it. side of the mattress. Not to mention high density memory foam. Mm. And they're completely fiberglass free. Okay, so we're gonna go on and put our new mattress on our bed. Let's do we're it. We're gonna go to sleep for the night and then we're gonna tell you guys just how great we slept on it when we wake up. Okay guys, so we have actually been sleeping on the mattress for a couple of nights. Mm -hmm. Best sleep of my life, no yeah. exaggeration. No, actually, like, amazing sleep. I've okay? been sleeping like a baby. Like, that other mattress is gone. Is gone. Gone. Is gone. I'm you sleeping know. through the night. Also. Yes, I'm not waking up, which I usually do. And when I had Lyme disease, and I still deal with, like, the symptoms from Lyme disease, I really haven't been, like, waking up stiff. No. Which is insane. And the bed does stay cool. So, guys, Sweet Night is actually offering you guys 15% off if you go to SweetNight.com and use our code JULESSOD15 for 15% off your mattress. With that being said, Sweet Night, thank you for sponsoring this video. And let's get right back to it. Okay, so we're at Starbucks. I'm gonna look at the menu and I'm gonna double check what looks like from here to be the healthiest. I'm assuming the egg whites. I'm assuming the I'm, egg whites. I mean, I'm just, I'm just assuming. I have a feeling it's gonna healthiest. be the egg white bites and the spinach feta wrap. When, when you look up healthiest fast food, which is crazy, Chipotle is number one. Really? But I don't know if they know that like the sunflower seed oil isn't that great for you. I ruined it. Number two is Chick-fil-A. Okay. A spinach feta wrap is 290 calories. Okay. It's just high protein. Okay. And the uh -huh. egg white bites are 170. Okay. I and they're also high protein. So let's do egg white bites and a spinach feta wrap. <laughs> Why what is just that? happened? Why is it's okay. Um, can I do one order of egg white bites? And you guys okay. can see. And can I do a spinach feta wrap? It's not fixed. Um, can we do a grande iced pumpkin chai tea latte? But can we do almond milk? Oh, okay. So you can technically get like an Americano. It's gonna be like zero calories, five to zero. That's okay. But realistically, I'm trying to find like Something healthier you're gonna versions enjoy that too. you guys might enjoy for the fall. Yeah. So just by changing this from. 2% milk to almond milk. Not to say anybody ready. needs to like no, be not low in calories. It's just like, like Julia, like for instance, you, you This do. is a, it's just like a healthier way to enjoy it. Or if you can't have dairy. Well, oh, the, the cold foam still has dairy. It goes Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, McDonald's. Wendy's? Ruby Tuesday. Wait, is that Ruby like Tuesdays fast food? Ruby Tuesdays is fast food. The refreshers are also pretty healthy, but like, We've had refreshers so many times. So I just want to say, ooh, that spinach feta wrap smells like pizza. It smells amazing. It does. <laughs> okay. I've never had this. If you've never had the egg white bites it's hot. before. Oh my God. The egg bites from huh. Starbucks are so ooh. good. These are all, whoa. Whoa, this is like fresh out the oven, like, like piping hot. Still. Whenever we're out of town, this is my go-to breakfast, the egg white bites. So what's so in this? Good. Can you tell me just eggs? I think it's egg whites, spinach, feta cheese. You guys, and it looks like it's literally tomatoes. smoking. I don't think you could like the camera isn't catching it. That looks good. I. It's definitely too hot to eat. This is hot bread. Wait till it cools down. I got some egg. Oh my god. That would be the perfect breakfast if I could eat gluten. That would be perfect. I feel like it's. I feel like from what it looks, I feel like it would be more filling than this. I normally need like four of these bad boys. Four packs? No, like, like two four packs eggs. of four like, eggs total. Hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, and then for the drink, we got the chai tea latte, as you guys know, but we did it with almond milk. So it looks a little different. Like, it looks a little darker, I think, because the almond milk is um, thinner. I feel like you would like this more, though. 
just because it is feta. Like, this, it's a lot of cheese. So. Just try it. It's good with almond milk. I don't know if I even like this drink to begin with. It's good. It actually tastes better this way. It tastes better with almond milk. Also, you can get the pumpkin spice latte here without whipped cream. Yeah. Do it with almond milk. You'll also save calories. Oh, also, yeah, I feel like we should do a disclaimer. We're not saying you need to cut calories or save calories. No, it's literally... It's just, just this video. Yeah, it was just looking at the more healthy things because I feel like you don't go to a fast food restaurant and you're like, can I get the healthy option? Because personally, I'm like... And to be honest... I don't know what's healthy anywhere. A salad? I feel like I don't know. I hate salad, so I don't know. What's on the internet can be so overwhelming. I don't know about you guys, but my TikTok for you page is like... And I don't know why because I'm not looking it up. It's like low calorie fall starbucks drinks and it's the most complicated order it's like two shots of espresso with two sugar-free vanilla pumps one chai pump one pump of this one pump of that a splash of oat milk like girly like that's not enjoyable and i'm not doing all that so i'm gonna just switch the milk and yeah and call it a day mm -hmm. and just that little of a change can make something healthier hot as hell i know that's burning your mouth girl okay we're now at panera i found a gluten-free option and we found the healthiest well what we think we found the healthiest soup. we could definitely be wrong and you guys could definitely come for us but we like i don't know can i do a green goddess salad with oh. chicken and then can i do a cup of the turkey chili okay, do you want chips, apple, or baguette for those? um Apples. apple Ooh. Both of them? Yes. What? Okay. I, I hate, hate apples. apples. I hate all fruits. Any Ew, fruit. Except tomatoes. To Before somebody apple. says, Sod, you like tomatoes, I've seen you eat a tomato. I like tomatoes. That that's the only thing. Eating an apple with my meal. Bro, that's like elementary school. We we're not babies anymore. That don't sound good. We're not kids anymore. I hate apples. I hate the apples. The only time an apple was good is at uh, Universal. Candy covered. Candy covered. And I didn't even eat the apple. I ate just the candy. Pretty much. We have our Panera. <laughs> Saad has a soup too. I don't know why he's just holding the apple. He's just really hung up on the apple. This salad actually doesn't look bad. This actually looks like a very good salad. Oh man. I've never had their chili. Turkey chili sounds good. I love turkey chili. And it's so. fall. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel. I love, one thing about me is I love soup. Any soups, chilies. I love soup. Anything like that, I, I'm a soup fanatic. I feel like that's one thing I really can't live without. And that is another, uh, one of the top eight wonders in the world. Um, soup. Soup. Gotta soup be Soup is there. one of the eight Ooh, wonders wait, time in out. There's the world. Chickpeas. Chickpeas are good for you carrots i can probably try that yeah i'm yeah. excited guys i can actually eat in this trend mm. this isn't like the other ones you know what it's good can i try it mm -hmm. i'm trying to like mix the like wow i'd actually dressing. eat this here you want a carrot here sure. i'll give you some i get that's a good sod oh. don't spill it okay wait let me give you that good bite okay it's kind of hot forgot to tell you that it's good Mm. I'd, I'd get this. Like, I'd actually, like, order this. I usually get their chicken noodle soup. I don't I'd really, eat that up. I don't go really far from the chicken noodle soup, okay? I would honestly gobble that up. We, that turkey. The turkey? <laughs> that was funny. I didn't even mean to be funny. And wow, that was funny. that was funny. What is that? This is a green goddess salad. It has avocado. It has a hard-boiled egg. Even, it wasn't even it going. It has chicken. It has cherry tomatoes. Um onions okay so very good and good I it seems guess. good i don't like salad so uh -uh. the highest calorie thing is probably the dressing but so that's what i hate salad? about salad is you just gotta like it depends like sweet green i eat their kale caesar salad up and i can tell you for a fact that's probably actually not for a fact but i can tell you that's probably their healthiest option what is the lowest calorie the kale caesar at sweet green Mm -mm -mm. I'm kind of going around the chickpeas, but I'll, I'll taste one. Let me. This is actually good. All right, chickpeas aren't bad. I don't know why they just always wow. 
intimidate me for some reason though. Do they not? I didn't. I mean, I'm not eating chickpeas like that, but I wasn't expecting this of Panera. Like, it's better than what you thought it was gonna be. I haven't had Panera like in years, so. Because when you think about Panera, you're really thinking about bread and soup, and you don't care about soups as much as I do. Like, I will go to war for some soup. Mm -hmm. What else do you get? I don't get? know. Panera's random to me. Really, I love Panera. Like, Panera has always reminded me of like hospital food. I or, remember like, lunch food. That's crazy because I remember I think when I was going through Lyme disease, that was the only thing I could eat chicken noodle soup was their chicken noodle soup and i think when i was going through egg retrieval that was one of the only things i could have again was their soup and their bread mm -hmm. it's just like very simple very easy very fast i feel like it, it helped me through a lot actually for real it really did so i do like panera i really do between this and that though i like the turkey i didn't even know they had this okay so panera has some good options yeah and they have some like warm bowls too i think you know what? I gotta try their uh, chicken teriyaki. I didn't even know they had Oh, that. Mariah literally called me the other day and she told me it was so good. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to try it. We're absolutely mind blown right now. It says, it says the 14 healthiest and it says number one is the Junior Hamburger Deluxe. From Wendy's. From Wendy's. Junior Hamburger Deluxe. And that's like 300 so. calories versus their salad that's 570 calories okay so we're gonna get the junior, junior hamburger, hamburger deluxe. deluxe oh my gosh what did i say their uh the chili. chili is gonna pop up too oh my god wait their apple bites were actually the healthiest the apple bites oh my god it was another apple again Are mcdonald's full of sells apples. did you even bite the apple do you want me to gag? I didn't bite the apple either, to be honest. You want me to gag? All right, we're back. We got our Wendy's and we also got Duncan off yes. camera. So we haven't tried anything yet. We're waiting for you guys. Duncan. It's going to be a battle of the egg bites because it it's looks It's a battle like of the egg bites and apples. Bro. Literally. <laughs> like the egg bites and apples. So they had egg white and veggie bites i haven't had these i've had the cheddar and bacon ones bro it's gonna look like i hate everything because i hate lettuce what's the point honestly what's the point just for like a little crunch i don't like lettuce i think you can take it off babe is there even ketchup on it yeah there is there's tomato okay. on it there's onion and there's ketchup and um this is what i'm gonna just go with a bite their egg bite looks like okay okay you try that after this Ah, I'm making a mess. Ah. Who's is better, Duncan or Starbucks? I like Starbucks. But these egg bites are pretty good. The bacon and cheddar is way better. You're done. No, it's not bad. It's a one bite and I'm good. It's just, I don't like lettuce. Hmm. And I could taste the lettuce. And I got tomato all on this. Ketchup and tomato. Same thing, but, try you the, know. Try the egg bite. Why is this napkin so stale? I don't know. We just got it. Why is it like that? The Starbucks egg bites are definitely better. I'm hungry. I'm like, I'm eating it. <laughs> Alright, but let me stop munching no, for a minute. I like uh, Starbucks is better. No, I'm talking with my mouth full. Sorry. Ew. So, outside of coffee, one of the healthiest drinks were the refreshers. So, I got this. It's like a dragon fruit a strawberry dragon fruit refresher with coconut milk should i try it i think i've tried this before and it tasted like soap so i'm a little I think scared we both said that i think this was like 80 calories okay give it a give it a good slurp oh this one's not that bad can i taste it this one's actually kind of good did someone like try to hurt us before maybe this one's actually <laughs> not bad <laughs> Yeah, it didn't taste like that before. Right? Before it tasted like soap. It tasted like Tide detergent. Okay. This one's actually pretty someone, good. Someone obviously tried to hurt us before. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. I didn't even bite it. Ugh. No. I get Panera the highest rating on this. 100%. Mm-hmm. And then after... So many options. And then after... I which it wouldn't rank this it would usually be higher up i would rank um i'm reading starbucks starbucks and then duncan, duncan and then wendy's wendy's in last yeah. sorry i mean that's just how the cookie crumbles 
if Chick Fil A like, was an option right now, it'd be number it'd one. It'd be pretty good. It'd be number one probably. What? How's their new sandwich? They came out with this new sandwich, right? Bro, I tried that sandwich on Snapchat last night or a couple days ago. Yo. At first, okay, I know you would like it, and they also do the chicken three different ways. They can do it grilled, they can do it crispy, and then just regular. Wait, what? They can do it grilled. Oh, that should have been in this. Let me tell you something. I would have tried that. Oh, uh, my God. If we weren't so far from Chick-fil-A right now, I would. Oh, but my God, Julia. When I tell you, I've never ate, I don't eat chicken sandwiches. Like, you'll never see me eat a chicken sandwich. I ate that shit in like literally like one minute and 30 seconds like you could have timed me and it would have been gone Joel's it's so cheesy and like cheddary and but it's like has spice to I'm like mm -hmm. spitting I feel like we need to get it now no I think like Joel's it's actually so gassy bro mm. why don't they deliver anymore I don't I don't know the more I drink this I'm tasting the detergent again okay so maybe we wasn't poisoned and it was just them but this shit. is the better drink anyway guys <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video I'm still like I don't know that turkey chili like that was my top number one thing 100%. we actually like making turkey chili at home yeah and can I say we made from scratch on snapchat free that's, on snapchat that's why you have to add us on you snapchat really like to. literally okay these are our barcodes we already showed it in the beginning but these are our barcodes right here pause some, stand. some people can't usually find us i don't know why but it's just easier to use the barcodes um we're gonna yeah we just post on there all the time and i posted the whole story I, it's a saved story of us making these we mm -hmm. made from scratch gluten-free Pumpkin spice cookies with a cream cheese glaze frosting. Fire. Absolutely perfect. So the most perfect good. cookies I think I've ever had perfect in my life. Perfect fall cookie. I oh my it. god. I it was it. so good. Like we're gonna tell our kids we made that recipe one day. We are. I'm we so gonna be proud lying. <laughs> but <laughs> but anyway guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Sweet Night, for sponsoring this video. With that being said, we love, we love you, guys. you guys. We, we will see you later and stay A1. A1.